Well, believe it or not, today is the 10 year anniversary of First Friday and the Downtown Bryan Association is celebrating with quite the birthday bash. KX HD news reporter Alexandra Bush is live in Downtown Bryan at the birthday party and Alexandra looks like a busy night of fun. Luke, we've got hundreds of cupcakes, birthday games, decorations, and everyone I spoke with here says they're having a wonderful time. But one thing most people don't know is that none of this would have happened if it wasn't for one woman and her love for downtown Bryan. Greta Watkins grew up coming to downtown Bryan. We came downtown to go to the movie and we came downtown to go to the library and to go shopping. As a kid, this was the shopping hub. In high school, it was even the most congested place to come for driver's ed. Greta says she's always known these streets as a special place. It's really important that the rest of the community can come down and experience downtown for what it is now. So she came up with an idea, First Fridays. I heard about First Fridays in other parts of the country, and they usually are like a gallery walk. Um, in a museum district or a gallery district. Here in Bryan, it's a community-wide event that's seen some major success throughout the last 10 years. It started in one shop with the Frame Gallery and Greta Watkins, and it has now expanded to the entire length of downtown Bryan. And it is a huge event. People come in from out of town to visit First Friday. We actually have other downtowns calling us to see how we run our First Friday. Local shops, organizations, and plenty of artists line the streets, a site Greta Watkins says she never even envisioned. It feels like I have given birth to a wonderful thing. <laughs> Earlier when I talked to Greta, she had no idea this was going to happen, but right now over at the Frame Gallery where she works, she's being honored by the Mayor of Bryan for her contribution to the city. For now, live on Main Street, Alexandra Bush, back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alexandra. Hopefully we get a few cupcakes when she makes the trip back here.